what's good y'all Akil here back with another video and it's Monday afternoon right now so I'm gonna show you guys what sold on eBay over this past weekend as usual the Saturday orders already went out because I try to ship out everything on Saturday just just because the post office closes so early on Saturday I still just like to get items out as soon as possible so it's about maybe 12 or 13 orders going out today in total between eBay and Poshmark so I'll just show you guys some of those sales right now so if you guys haven't already make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and let's get into it first up is a pair of these Air Max 720s and this actually came out the personal collection I was wearing these for a while and I picked them up on Poshmark for I think 30 bucks they were a little dirty when I picked them up so I, after I cleaned them up I was rocking them to the gym but 720s are not the most comfortable pair of shoes for me at least so I listed these for 80 bucks and they sold within about three weeks so definitely be on the lookout for 720s I know I actually like the shoe but like I said just a little too uncomfortable for me but after all this was a really good split next up we got a pair of some ultra boosts and I grabbed these up from Ross when Ross had their clearance sale and these were only 30 bucks in Ross I believe at first they were 50 and when they were 50 bucks they were a little too much for me because they wasn't selling for that much money but for 30 bucks I felt like it was a much better deal so I went ahead and I grabbed two pairs of these and one had finally sold for $89.99 and I wanted to price these a little higher I was hoping to sell them for at least a hundred bucks but of course with the flood of these a lot of people were selling them for like 70 and 60 bucks brand new so I just lowered my price by five bucks and I was able to let these go so I'll be able to fit these in a padded flat rate envelope to save some money on shipping next we got a pair of blue shorts and these Kermu shorts as you guys know I picked all of these up from that Dillard's liquidation sale and a few have been selling on eBay but the majority of them have sold um, I'll probably say 50 50 have sold between eBay and Poshmark to be honest I sold one on Poshmark so I'll show that to you guys in a little bit also but this one sold on eBay and I have a couple more pairs I think I have a couple size 40s left in this one but outside of that I think we'll be all sold out of this colorway next up we got a pair of these vans with the flame on the side and these are really dope in my opinion picked these up from Nordstrom Rack when they had that 40% off sale and we still have a few pairs left in the inventory I usually don't sell vans but these vans were 40% off so as you guys can see they were asking 30 bucks for these so with the additional 40% off to me it was a no-brainer so I wish I grabbed up all the ones that I saw I left behind a couple sizes that I thought were going to be tougher sizes but at this price point I should have just grabbed all of them up but it is what it is I'm pretty sure I'll come across some better deals next time and I'll keep checking Nordstrom Rack because even though they don't have the, like the best prices sometimes they have some good sales and you're able to scoop up some good stuff so drop a comment if Nordstrom Rack is one of those places that you guys source from but overall these did sell for I believe $69.99 so that was a really good sale for me and I'm also going to be shipping these out via pirate ship because since this doesn't have the box top I don't like shipping shoes out without the box top so I'll just package this up separately and ship it out via pirate ship next up we got this internet modem and I actually just listed this a couple days ago this is in my video that I just showed you guys where I picked up a ton of electronics from the thrift and this sold the same day for 25 bucks so very quick sale i seen some sell between 25 and 30 bucks i didn't have the additional cords to attach to this so that's why i only listed mine for 25 but like i said really quick sale and this is super light so i should be able to ship this out in a first class package just to save some money on shipping next up we got this shirt from the brand rain spooner and i used to sell this shirt fairly often when i lived in california i used to come across this brand all the time i don't find it as much as i used to and this shirt was actually sitting in the inventory for a very long time i guess this shirt in particular just wasn't as a popular print as I hope it would be or maybe just this brand doesn't sell for as much as it used to or it's just not as popular drop a comment let me know your guys thoughts on this brand if you're still picking it up or not this was definitely a really solid brand a couple years ago but as you guys know when it comes to clothing brands sometimes brands just fizzle out so I think that's probably what happened with this one but overall still a good sale it sold for I think 25 bucks so I'm still happy with that next up we got this complete Nintendo Wii and the only thing missing was the little piece that was covering uh, the memory card slot but overall this was in really good condition still works just fine and it sold for $89.99 and I picked this up from the thrift for, I believe 10 bucks so I usually don't come across complete sets sometimes I might just find the Nintendo's sometimes I might find one and it's missing a sensor bar but this one was actually a full complete set so I was glad that this sold and I still have another set on eBay but that one just isn't complete I think I just don't have any controllers for that one so I listed that one for I think $79.99 instead but I might try to see if I can find another controller then add that to that bundle and then I'll be able to get it for 90 bucks sold so we'll see if I could come across another controller but if you guys got any of these Nintendo Wii's 
they used to sell really cheap they used to sell for like 40 to 50 bucks but ever since quarantine and with people being at home now and kids being at home for the summertime nintendo wii's have skyrocketed there like some have sold for 100 plus but the ones that i've been picking up that's complete sell for at least 90 bucks every time and next up no surprise here is two pairs of these adidas top 10s in the black and white colorway got one size 11 that sold and one size 13 that sold so this was definitely a solid weekend not a ton of sales but it's always good to see at least 10 packages go out over the weekend and i always ship my saturday packages out as soon as possible i don't think i shared those with you guys but just a few sales had went out on saturday maybe five or six so overall this weekend was still pretty productive for me and still got a and still got a decent amount of sales next up we got something random this is actually called the big berkey uh, water filtration system and i picked this up out in california so that just lets you guys know how long i actually had this sitting in my death pile this was actually missing the spigot and missing the filters so if I had the filters and everything, all the additional attachments for this, I probably would have been able to sell this thing for at least 250 maybe 300 bucks, because that's how much these were selling for. But basically what I have here is just a shell of what the filtration system is all about. But thankfully this still sold for 129 and it sold within about three days after listing it. So a really quick flip and a decent amount of profit on this. And if my memory serves me correctly, I picked this up for maybe five or six bucks, no more than that. It was definitely something super random that I took a chance on and it finally did sell so I didn't have this listed for a long time at all I just had it sitting around in my death pile for a super long time so if you guys have anything sitting in your death pile you might as well just try to get rid of those type of stuff as fast as possible because you really just got money sitting around next up we got a pair of these uh, Nike boosts and I actually got these back as a return the person that originally purchased these said they were a little too small so i just went ahead and relisted them and they sold the next day that i relisted them so this is a really quick flip hopefully this shoe hopefully it doesn't run small and next person that gets them enjoys them and i don't have to deal with another return but the first time i shipped this out i shipped it out in a padded flat rate envelope so this time i'll do the same thing again all right y'all so speaking of returns i just grabbed this return from the p.o box and i know i got a question in a previous video someone asked me if i I have a P.O. box if I use USPS or UPS P.O. box. For me, the only reason why I got a P.O. box was because I'm on YouTube now, so I didn't want to have my home address out there, especially when it came to return packages. So I just invested in a P.O. box, and it doesn't cost a ton of money. I know depending on your state, it might cost more. When I was in California, it cost me maybe 115 bucks for the year, but now that I'm in Arizona, I think I'm only spending 70 bucks a year. And for me, I just like to get all the returns, whether it's Poshmark or eBay, and anything that i'm ordering i usually do get it sent to the p.o box as well so just consider that just in case you guys are thinking about getting p.o boxes for me it's it's definitely worth the investment but you don't necessarily need to have a p.o box when it comes to ebay shipping returns and stuff like that but i'm just gonna bust this open and make sure that this pair of pants is all in order because usually sometimes anytime i do get returns honestly it's usually just because the item didn't fit but sometimes i just like to open returns up on camera just in case because you never really know Alright y'all, so as you guys can see, everything is looking good. The reason why the, they want it to return is just because it doesn't fit. So we're just going to toss this and I'm basically just going to relist these as is and just make sure that I can relist them for free because I think that's an option that eBay gives you. You can just relist um, the returned items for free now. I'm not sure if you can always do that or if you just have available listings, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And this is a linen pair of pants and linen right now is definitely very popular. I know a lot of people are shopping and searching for linen clothing, whether it's tops or pants. So this one should sell pretty quickly. So I'm not worried about that. And also the really good thing is that anytime people ship me back stuff like this, I usually always try to reuse their packaging and that's why I try to be really delicate by opening this because this is going to come in handy for a future package really soon. And this is a bubble mailer so these are always good. And last but certainly not least, so you actually got a Poshmark sale going out. This is a pair of shorts from that Dillard sale as well. I believe these were probably maybe $1.75 or $2. And we still got a bunch left in this colorway, but it's always a good thing when something sells on Poshmark. Like I told you guys before, I'm going to continue trying to sell out everything that I have in that closet. Continue to share it daily and hopefully everything sells out pretty soon. But I'll be shipping this one out today. Alright y'all, that's all I got in today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, 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 let's go. First back in the day and so I can't complain.